Did you know that apart from water, tea is the most consumed beverage in the world? Hello and welcome to World History Encyclopedia. My name is Kelly and today we're going to have a look at the history of tea. Don't forget, the easiest way to support us is by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. International Tea Day used to be celebrated on December 15th until 2020 when the UN decided to initiate a global celebration of the long history and both cultural and economic significance of tea to be celebrated on May 21st. So, where did tea originate from? When was it first drunk? And why is it so popular today? We're going to answer these questions and more in honor of International Tea Day. Tea originated in Southwest China in the Yunnan province. And it is believed that tea drinking likely began during the Shang Dynasty of China between 1500 and 1046 BCE. It began as a medicinal drink as well as a drink consumed by Buddhist monks to support them as they meditated and to ward off sleep. By the Tang Dynasty between 618 and 907 CE, tea had gained popularity and eventually became an important element of Chinese economy. It was also during the Tang Dynasty that tea merchants began to export it to other Asian countries, most notably Japan. One of the many legends from both Japanese and Chinese tradition concerning the discovery of tea says that Bodhidharma, also known as Daruma, and the founder of Zen Buddhism, was the person who discovered tea. The legend goes that Bodhidharma was traveling around to spread his new doctrine, and he founded what is known in southern China as the Shaolin Temple and the Shorinji to the Japanese. Here he sat and meditated for nine years, facing a wall, but at the very end, just before he had reached enlightenment, he fell asleep. He was enraged that he failed, and as you do in anger, he ripped off his own eyelids and threw them to the ground. From his eyelids, the first tea plant grew. There is also the legend of Emperor Shennon, who was drinking a bowl of boiled water, and a few leaves blew into the water, which changed the taste. He was pleasantly surprised with the taste from the leaves, and some versions of the myth suggest he tested the medicinal properties against poisons on himself, and found the tea could be used as an antidote. Once tea arrived in Japan during the 6th or 7th century CE, it was initially only consumed by Buddhist monks, but by 1200 CE it had become very popular. Japan imported both the cut tea leaves and the tea plants since China cultivated better tea plants than Japan. Although the ritual and ceremonial aspects of serving tea originated in China, the Japanese developed it and made it an important part of their culture. The Japanese tea ceremony was to be conducted in the chashitsu, or tea room, which was separate from the main residence, and so displayed the wealth needed to conduct the ceremony, since the person could afford to build and maintain the room. Special porcelain was also set aside only for use in the tea ceremony, and there was specific etiquette and details on how the tea was to be brewed, served, and enjoyed. By the 16th century, tea was widely consumed and had become an economic power for China as tea drinking spread around the world. Tea had replaced coffee as the drink of choice in Iran by the late 15th century and had grown in popularity elsewhere creating a high demand. European traders, most notably those of the British East India Company, were becoming increasingly interested in marketing tea and would rush to return home to the shores of Europe to sell their tea for a very pretty penny. China had a complete monopoly on the tea trade until tea was stolen from China by the Scottish botanist and explorer Robert Fortune, commissioned by the British East India Company who smuggled tea trees and tea workers to India, and from there, the plant travelled even further. If you travel around the world, you might notice a strange phenomenon, that the name for tea is often very similar. Throughout the world, there are mainly two root words for tea, tea and cha, and both of these come from China. Where the use of cha occurred through land trade, 
primarily along the Silk Road, the name Teh spread through sea trade, primarily by the Dutch traders who were bringing tea to Europe. Cha, used in most areas of China, evolved to Che in languages like Persian, Urdu and Russian, She in Arabic and Chai in Swahili. Tea, which was used in Chinese coastal languages, was used in the two main Dutch ports in East Asia, Taiwan and Fujian, which is why in French it's te, te in German and tea in English. Regions in the world where tea grows naturally often have their own word for tea, which is not derived from the Chinese. Today, tea is the most popular drink worldwide, consumed more regularly than any other drink besides water, and is a multi-billion dollar industry. Are you a tea drinker? Have you thought about where your tea might have come from? Let us know your favourite tea down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new uploads. As always, you can follow the links below to our website to learn more about the history of tea and the Japanese tea ceremony. This video was brought to you by World History Encyclopedia. For more great articles and interactive content, head to our website via the link below. World History Encyclopedia is a non-profit organisation, so if you'd like to support our work, you can head to our Patreon via the link in the top corner of the screen, or you can follow the link for it down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon with another video.